Welcome everybody. I'd like to welcome you to my page, My Life, My Travels. This is Cullen. Here's a video. I um, just wanted to really take a look back on my recent 20 month deployment to Afghanistan. And of course, I'm just wanted to put this together as a look back through all that I went through the training at Fort Bliss here. Like, interesting, first day, dumpster fire, very interesting. And this was the company area at uh, what's called CRC, that's the employment center in Fort Bliss, Texas. Seven days of madness, rushing to training on the bus every day. They're trying to get us up, prep all the training the physicals and all you had to go through to all be completed in like seven days and then you jet off into the wild blue yonder. So so this is a quick view of our stay in Fort Bliss. Um, and Starbucks so you can get your coffee do a little Here we are standing in front of World of Beer. This is Fort Bliss, Texas. I guess I'll go inside and take a look. Why not? <laughs> Why not? And that's the beer samples. Not that I did any, of course. Here's a view of the barracks, of course. Every time I go there, I end up on the top floor carrying those heavy duffel bags down four flights of stairs. Trust me, that is no fun. But that's a view of the mountains. Not sure which way. I'll be looking into Mexico or New Mexico. It actually was a beautiful area around there. It's hot and dry. So, and this is the final day. You up at one o'clock in the morning, Friday morning, headed to the airport. As you can hear, it's a very quiet ride because a lot of things are on folks' minds. <laughs> that ride is something. But it was a nice, peaceful ride. A thousand things going on in your mind. We're all deploying to not just Afghanistan, Kuwait, Jordan, Egypt. Folks are going all over the world. We had a pretty big crew with us. Not many civilians, I noticed, not like on prior deployments. We had very few civilians on this deployment. Normally the class would be, I don't know, 50 plus more civilians, it's like 20 of us. 
<laughs> that was terrible. But times change and of course the qualifications are pretty tough too now. Not like it was before. And this is the flight line. We're taking one of our last breaks before we go. And we're off. This is a break in New Hampshire. Very nice people. The VFW is here. Our first stop since leaving El Paso. I think we'll be here for about three hours. So I'm gonna go outside and look around. They provided coffee, cake, fruits, and all kind of nice things. And so this is the outside the airport. Well, I'll take a little break here in Port Smith, New Hampshire. Everybody's making phone calls everywhere. It's a cool 52 degrees right now. A lot different than the mid 90s from El Paso. So it's a beautiful evening. Having a cup of coffee. Very nice. And so on. Please carry me as a reminder that you are not forgotten. We want to wish you a good deployment and we want to remind you that we will be here in This star came from a, a veteran who is serving today. Doc, Doc, Stein. And uh, I'm gonna have you take this one. And you're gonna have to come up here and have it. So that was a nice little ceremony. The wonderful folks there in New Hampshire gave to us. Very nice send off. That was one of our first stops. Stretch your legs. And um, it was it was very nice, very sweet. And I just took a couple photos. Here's an interesting one coming up. This lady jacket is made with unit patches. And of course, our second and last stop before deployment in Germany. Been here a few times on deployments. Another little brief stop to stretch, stretch your legs, take a smoke break, whatever. And Kuwait at midnight. It was very hot. There I be. Well, hello there, YouTube fans. Here I am sitting in a Ali Asalim. Air Base in Kuwait. Waiting for a flight to Afghanistan. Today is the 21st of September. I think it's Saturday. You kind of lose track of days when you're doing this deployment stuff. Because every day seems like Groundhog Day. And you're like wondering what day is it? Because you do the same thing. Well, haven't really gotten to work yet. We've been traveling for a week, just trying to get to Afghanistan. It's pretty much exercise and waiting. You go one place to wait, another place to wait. We got a lot of, looking at a little bug. They got some weird bugs here, vast. Seen a camel spider the other night. It's really like a scorpion, very big and fast like everything in the desert moves kind of fast I guess this looks like a big ant with its butt sticking up in the air but whatever so anyway we're waiting again to actually leave it's about I don't know 90 degrees outside and it's only like 6 30 in the morning Oh, I'm a bit tired. 
been up since three. Didn't sleep very much. So, next time I do this video, it'll probably be in Bagram, Afghanistan. So, uh, stay tuned for more. Bye now. And welcome to Bagram. This is September time frame here. I made it to my unit. That's where I lived at for the last 20 months. Some of our warehouses, we issued equipment out to the fighting force. There be me in my desert uniform. That's what they issued us. In a hailstorm. I got there the end of September and it just, weather was nice for the first week. And then it just started raining, raining, raining and hailing. So, took a little video. And that's Bagram, a view of the mountains. Connex heaven over there on the warrior side of the base. Me and my favorite place, the Smoke Shack. We even did a couple bar barbecues. And there's a Halloween party. <laughs> it was actually pretty nice. <laughs> I got there a little late. I didn't have time to get a costume or nothing, so I took a few pictures, a few videos, some of the interesting things we did. And that's like a walk from my barracks to the compound. Me again in my favorite place, the smoke shack. And one of my first nights at getting seafood. I spent a lot of time in the Now well, it's me walking to work. This is Bagram. T walls. Pedestrian walking. Traffic only goes at five miles an hour, so shouldn't get run over at that speed. A barbecue grill. This is just the early morning walk to work here. So that's it for now. And continuing on, this is our little compound here of the Army Field Support Battalion. Afghanistan, little memorial built outside, all of our section vehicles. So, this is, this is where we work at, where I work. It's the MWR trailer, internet, food, all kind of stuff in there. And it looks like nobody's here, but everybody's just inside their offices because it's pretty cold outside. So, our little world. And here's my office. ID cards, awards. So, in these boxes outside, we have to put our cell phones in. So, until the next video clip, Bye now. And this is Thanksgiving in Grady Defect. And I'm sure a lot of you remember this. It wasn't bad. Thank you. Sorry, Major, I got you. 
Um, green beans, I guess. Yes, sir. Hey, sir, how you doing? Lots of food, as you can see. We didn't starve in Afghanistan, that is for sure. Um, you can get there and lose a lot of weight, or you can pack on a lot of weight as well. Mm, that was just an interesting plant with the frost on it, so. Why I took a picture, I don't know. Just did. Uh, here's some merchandise you can buy there from the Afghan shops. Uh, I bought a lot of, of course, you know, they're knockoff purses, but they're beautiful. So, uh, a shop owner, we did a lot of talking. And uh, he had some nice stuff, so I bought a whole bunch of them give out its gifts and souvenirs and of course for my baby and uh, the scarves and all he matched them up with all the purses so he got a lot of money out of me that day my main goal was to buy a, a coat it's what I needed when we wear civilian clothes there's me in my favorite mug and they had a Louisiana Street I'm from Louisiana and it snowed a lot that year. It really did. And a little stuff was going on that day. There's my smoke shack covered in snow. And yep, that's it picture around the uh, compound where we work. We had a lot of snow, snowstorm after snowstorm. Combat action badges, a whole bunch of AAMs, medals. Um, stars, more awards, more medals. It's my job, all what I do. And this was R&R, &R, my one and only break in 20 months. I got to go to the Philippines and have a beer and come back. And here's something I had tried to catch for months. And looks like another test fire. Yeah, that was our protection from the rocket fire. Trust me, you needed it. <laughs> and maybe a third test fire.
welcome you to my travel, my life, my travels. One, two. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Cullen, and I'd like to welcome everybody to my life, my travels. I'm coming to you from the Smoky Shack in Afghanistan. Hello, everybody. My name is Cullen. I'd like to welcome you to my travel page. Hello, everybody. My name is Cullen. Hello, everybody. My name is Cullen, and welcome to my life, my travels. Today, I'm coming to you from the smoke shack in Afghanistan, so that's all I can really say about that. So, just coming back to work after being in quarantine, and this is how my door is decorated. Corona beer <laughs> for coronavirus. So, uh, after 14 days, it's cute. And as we're going on, since I extended, I decided to buy the the new uniform, beautiful rainbow. Yeah, this is May. And it's uh, a ceremony. I think this was a reenlistment ceremony. And there I be again in my favorite place. View of the snow-capped mountains. And there's my old buddy Frank. I met him on two deployments. Every time I deploy, Frank is deployed. And here's some jewelry that we managed to get from the Afghans before they closed everything down on base. Picked up a lot of jewelry there. And another plate of food from Seafood Night. And that was a lot of food. Here's some more jewelry and such that I managed to pick up at the going out of business sale before all the Afghans got kicked off base. I got a little bit of everything for my baby and managed to get it all out. And some pretty rare pieces too. So there it is, I laid it out on the bed, just took some photos of it. This is a little drive around base. Can't show too much. And of course, that's me hiding the camera because traffic cops coming by. And this was neat. Now we come to the final part for this video. It'll have to be in a few different parts with the farewell ceremony we held for our commander, Lieutenant Colonel Noor, who I personally thank a lot for what she'd done for me during my time in Afghanistan. So we were just saying goodbye to her. We bought a lot of gifts. Well, I wouldn't say too many because by this time, all the shops and everything on base was, was closed. We were drawing down rapidly but we thanked her for her great leadership and how she helped the unit out so with that being said please stay tuned for my next part covering June till uh, April 21 so please come back I like to thank everybody for watching I really do appreciate it God bless you all bye now